luckily I've come up for a vaccine where you cannot be groomed in Florida if you're going to Disneyland. It's <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you? Yeah. Byzantis, uh, Fy, Fy DeSantis. Okay. You take about 150 doses. It's basically made of bull bile and bull material. Okay. And it'll keep right. you from getting groomed in Florida. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. I love Fauci. that pronunci- pronunciation. Florida. Pronunciation of that Florida. Florida. <laughs> Are we um, going to Florida or not, Harry? I loved uh, Seth Meyers' advice for Ivanka, speaking of late night shows. Okay. Um, oh, I had missed this. On January, uh, November 5th, two days after the election, uh, Ivanka tweeted, You are all warriors of epic proportions. Keep up the faith and the fight. Um, uh, Seth Meyers said she's trying to overturn the results of an election with the tone of a Peloton instru- instructor. That made me laugh because <laughs> I do Peloton. Yeah chat uh hey guys just wanted to have all our secret communications in one place just in case anyone needs to access them in the future here's an idea should we do a coup on tiktok i think that would totally slay let me know okay it's called coup social (laughs) yes yes oh my god lordy there are more tapes i mean did everyone record everyone nobody trusts anybody (laughs) wouldn't blame them yeah do do, would you blame them you would record everything hilarious Leave no Roger Stone unturned. See, hey. I'm coming with the puns uh, this morning. Wow. Come on, you are Come on. on it this morning. Wow, wow. David, Blue and onion. <laughs> David in uh, Virginia, you're on with Carlos. Hello, David. Well, good morning. Oh, well, good Jeff morning, and Yang. Oh, yes. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I just want to make a couple observations. Uh, okay. McConnell's statement that the Democrats would come in and take care of things isn't that what they always expect the Republicans? Yes, they we come in and mess. clean up their messes. And if Democrats don't clean up the mess fast enough, they're like, well, now we got to put Republicans back in, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, I mean, you, if you go back to all the way to Hoover and FDR, and then you go, go forward to Obama and George uh, W., I mean, each time they screw everything up, and the Democrats have to come in and clean it up. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, absolutely, absolutely. Point taken, and, thank and, you. And, and, and one more observation, oh, if I yep, could. Uh, yep. I don't know if anybody watches The Walking Dead, but they've got, no. this is the last season. Mm-hmm. There's a character on there that looks exactly like my governor, Glenn Youngkin. Mm. And, it's a, and what's interesting is the community they're involved in is the Commonwealth. And, of course, I'm in Virginia. It's the Commonwealth of Virginia. Oh, mm-hmm. yes, wow. that's right. But, but if you look at the picture of this character, I do not remember his name. He's pretty villainous, but he looks exactly like wow. Glenn Youngkin. All right. I can't, I couldn't even take the promo for that. There's a big guy with a baseball bat with spikes on it. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I was like, don't oh, yep, that. Don't yeah. that. No, 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 you, you would not, for you. not enjoy that no. show. Julia Roberts well, is not in it. Lucille. Yeah, yeah. Negan it's carries fake, that Stephanie. Back. Stephanie is stay, it's, it's makeup. It's prosthetics. It's I don't. All fake. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I don't, I she would not enjoy it. that. Cannot. Yeah. Will not enjoy that. People no, are Sandra not Bullock. eating each no. other for real, except in I, Florida. <laughs> and where? Florida. Florida. That's the bath salt. Speaking of Florida. Yes. Uh, Ron DeSantis signed a bill to create a police force dedicated to pursuing voter fraud and other election Seagull! crime. Seagull! Sorry. Yes, that's where they will stop for meals. The. Uh, oh. hmm? What. The, the, uh, ele- what is it called? Like election integrity force something. And it's, DeSantis has both praised the last election as smooth and suggested more rules are needed to deter fraud. Uh, critics have deemed the law politically motivated and unnecessary, arguing local prosecutors can handle election crimes. Maybe you need a force just to con- just for uh, Kevin or what's his name, Mark Meadows, and yeah. how many well, states yeah. he's currently committing election fraud in. That the village um, too. Mm-hmm. An Associated Press investigation of the 2020 presidential election found fewer than 475 potential cases of voter fraud out of 25 million, 25.5 million ballots cast in the six states where Trump and his allies disputed his loss. And I believe a large percentage of that was Mark Meadows' election. Yeah, and, and from other the Trump voters, right, in the villages. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, seriously, Carlos. Every time we you do find a face of voter fraud, it's someone that wife or mother died and tried to vote for Trump twice. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Right. It's, it's okay. Accuse uh-huh. them of what you're doing. It's a beautiful scheme. Right. Um. So this whole uh, Twitter thing, uh, the prospect of Trump returning to Twitter has Republican congressional and campaign aides in something of a panic, telling Politico they hope he stays the hell away from Twitter. 
Every single one of them told us they hope the former president stays the hell away from Twitter lest he sink their chances at flipping the House and Senate. If I'm a Democrat, I'd pray that Elon Musk puts Trump right back on Twitter. I don't think it costs Republicans the House, but it would certainly elevate Trump's opinions. It's going to put Republican candidates and members back having to answer for that. It's enough to create headaches and it's enough to probably cost us a couple of seats. I don't know who to root for anymore in this whole Twitter Elon Musk thing. But I'm standing my ground, Travis, or what do you call it? Uh, Yeah, you, but also Carlos. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, a yes, lot of Mama. people are saying this hasn't even gone through yet. Like, there are other there are reasons this could fall apart from one side or the other. I just would not cede the ground yet yeah. uh, on Twitter. You know, George Takei and others are saying, I'm going to stay here and fight. We have midterms coming up, you know, <coughs> and uh, as I keep saying, that's why it's so valuable, because they want to be where the normal people are. Mm-hmm. They don't yeah, want to be to- talking to themselves. That's why all those right wing platforms have failed. Yeah, I was about to say the, the, the dude that owns Twitter that wanted to sell it is pulling a Ruth Bader Ginsburg. He's like, why do it now? Wait till after 2022 or 2020, the, the elections, and then sell it. Yeah, yeah. Curious timing. Yeah, but I don't... No, 33% of the population are on Twitter, so if the 66% point something, right, are, are not on Twitter and they're educated elsewhere, we'll be okay. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Well, looky here. Uh-oh. A whistleblower who worked with federal authorities investigating ties between Deutsche Bank and uh, Trump have been found dead in California. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm. Uh, one reporter said he supplied me and other journalists with Deutsche Bank documents that highlighted the bank's deep Russia connections. Uh, okay, so he just, uh, let's see, he was reported missing. Last seen at uh, Griffith Park uh, driving a red Mini Cooper. Aha, uh-huh. and he's uh, turned up another one of those uh, clumsy people with ties to uh, Russia. Hmm. Like the other, yep. who was it? The Russian oligarchs, oil company oligarchs, two they, have been found dead yeah. within twenty forty eight. Yeah, it's yeah. Ah, no four connection. Of them have died than just those two, right? But those were the last two in like forty eight hours. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that was yeah they were uh, murder suicides or something like you know. that that was Whatever. completely not suspicious at all. It's happened. You know, these things people saw. People, these are accidents. Okay. There's just there's a hot, very high percentage of very clumsy people connected to uh, Russia. It's, Who it's, keep it's, falling on knives and yeah. keep these squirrels. Mm. Poison. You have... Okay, Kevin in San Antonio, you're on with uh, Carlos. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Hello. Uh, Carlos, I, I enjoyed your Bernie Sanders uh, burner phone bit. That was hilarious. I haven't <laughs> had I a fuck... chance to... Had, hadn't had a chance I'm sorry, is, to, your, is your Bernie phone it. ringing right now? Hello? Oh, Pick I, up. Pick up. I have important information. Ninety-nine percent of the population has never heard of this, but one percent of the four percent will hear it. Right. Oh, and Bernie, Stephanie, I hear you might run again. Are you do you have phones for that? Stephanie, I'm trying to understand the man's question. All right, right sorry. I'm sorry, phone. Kevin. Go ahead. Oh, I, I just wanted to congratulate him. I thought that was so funny. But, yes. And now, Stephanie, you're you're teasing us. You promised us you were going to wear your naughty nurse uniform. Oh, when Malcolm Nance comes home from war, I will meet him in Times Square in my naughty nurse. Uh, I may even do motorized nipple tassels. I may update the naughty Whoa. nurse outfit. And yes. Great show. Uh, enjoy enjoy it tremendously keep Thank up you. the good work thank you so much honey thank you so much what I could get patriotic red white and blue motorized nibble tassels no don't motorize or just them. bring Carlos to do the sound effects it's sexier when, do you, the when work. you spin them by yourself do the hard and, work yes and while they're twirling you can do the ro- line from Rocco's Modern Life stare into my nipples of the future that was on a children's show wow. yeah <laughs> okay okay <laughs> really really big man <laughs> Good to know. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, I need more uh, Russia. I have more m- Russian news. Um, oh. No, it is not. They're right next to each other. Okay. <laughs> A reported Russian disinformation plot uh, seemed to hilariously fall apart when news anchors noticed that their props included three copies of The Sims video game. I think they might have meant to get sim cards the and sim they, cards right yes. yes instead of the sims right Ru- russia's federal security service uh, fsb is claiming to have arrested a group of ukrainian neo-nazi new nazis see that's what they're saying the invasion's about okay who are planning to assassinate a russian tv host they said the organization claimed to have confiscated one ied eight molotov cocktails six makarov pis- pistols a sawed off shotgun a grenade over a thousand rounds of ammo drugs forged ukrainian passports uh nationalist literature and, and paraphernalia um, the FSB released a video in that photo. If you look past the new Nazi shirts, with, which look suspiciously brand new, 
Oh, they pur just purchased them at the next to the Hitler burger. Uh huh. You'll notice that the spread includes a greenish looking wig, a copy of The Sims 3, and two of the game's expansions. Buy at Mar a Lago gift shop. The Sims. The Come on, that is kind of hilarious. They were like putting together some sort of Nazi terrorist thing that they would photograph and someone. <laughs> Wait a minute, you idiot. Get in here. Who got the Sims games and Sim cards? Why do I have a Phil Sims football card? He played New York Phil Giants. Sims. He's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sports joke. That's funny. Oh, we, we sport at the sports. Sports. Okay. I rocked balls until the sun came up. John, in <laughs> as Dr. Fauci would say, Florida! Florida! Hi, John. Hello. Hello. Um, I got to tell you that um, Marjorie Taylor Greene was born in Milledgeville, Georgia. And it's known as the town of the city of crazies. Oh. There's a 200-acre no ranch that it's closed down now, but I had to do a residency there for my psychology degree from University of Georgia. And, and it, it's known of lunatics and insane. Oh. And, and, and unfortunately for other people that have dispositions and stuff. And, but it's a horrible place. Mm. But it's closed down, thank God, in 2010. But right. uh, that's where she was born. Yeah. So she might well be a damn escapee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. She's, like, she's very Tiger Kinging. <laughs> she's, she is. She's like that bitch, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. That bitch, Carol Baskin. Baskin. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll protect I'll... the humans. <laughs> Deedly. 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 Are you speaking Deedly? They speak yeah, Deedly in that part of Georgia. Marjorie right. was born in a ditch uh, uh, upon a litter of six. <laughs> She because didn't get she, to the... she's shaped like a Frenchie. Oh, God. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> That's not bad. We're dog lovers here. He got a bit of the nasal problem. Okay. That harkens back to, you know, what's her name? Rona. Yeah. No, uh, what's her name? Were you say... Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Did you say Rona did... Barrett? No, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who did not. We thought that she did not, because she had a lot of husky brothers, and she yeah, didn't get the, the uh, cow teat enough, and that's why she. She's the smallest. Right, Don't of the litter. Don't forget to put on your stripes before the photo. Uh, these stripes are slimming. <laughs> okay, well, listen, at least we're liberal helpers. Jimmy Kimmel is a, yeah. has a medication for yeah. Marjorie Taylor Greene and the like, yeah. Ms. Green, did you advocate for President Trump to impose martial law as a way to remain in power? I don't recall. So you're not denying you did it, you just don't remember? I don't remember. Are you or a loved one struggling to remember whether you incited a deadly insurrection? I do not recall or I have no idea. I don't know that. Have you forgotten whose executions you've called for? I just don't remember. I don't recall. I don't... Have you left the house and forgotten to turn off your Jewish space laser? <laughs> No, I do not remember that. Do you find yourself getting confused or lost? Okay, I think we're going to have to ask for, for directions. Now there's help. Treasonal. <laughs> Treasonal treats memory loss by patching up holes in the brain caused by overexertion. Call your antivax chiropractor if you have waited longer than four hours for JFK Jr. to come back from the dead. Treasonal. Get back to destroying your country with confidence. From the makers of Nasonex, horse medication for people. Available at Walgreens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um.